Hey, hello, so sure you My name is Oz, and welcome back to Let's Play Batman Arkham Knight. Uh, in today's video, we are going to be taking care of uh, the Stag airship, which is on Founders Island. Now, uh, we will not be getting uh, the uh, Batmobile on this island, uh, at least for a few more videos. So, basically, what this island has is that there are these uh, drones in the air. Uh, I believe these are serpent drones? I think they are? I, I, I could be wrong. But the main thing that we're here for is with uh, Simon Stag. Now, we need to come to this rooftop over here so we can uh, actually see the airship. But this is where things get a little bit more tricky from here on out. Because... Because... Uh... Oh, there he is. Uh, that dude has, uh, has, uh, a device that'll track Batman's, uh, detective mode. So, uh, ideally, we need to take care of him first. But, uh, b before we do that, I got, like, 30 upgrade points, so we can spend a little bit there. So, uh, uh, so yeah, um, as you saw... Uh, uh, I upgraded the, uh, the, uh, the disruptor, so that way it can, uh, sabotage, uh, uh, med kits, along with increasing the ammo count to four, which is, which is, which is always a nice thing. And, and there's an instant knockout with the explosive gel, and I'm also giving the smoke pellets a little bit of attention, because I am going to be using them quite a bit. And I believe I give myself a critical strike. Uh, do I do that? Yes, I do. Sweet. Uh, uh, now I can get through combat encounters a little more quicker now. And yeah, the the, the free flow Mach two. Uh, and and you know just for a hell of an upgrade the uh, Batmobile's um, uh, uh, armor system. Um, though, okay, so this particular segment will introduce us to the idea of watchtowers. Uh, basically, uh, these will be spread all throughout the city, and they can, they can hinder your, uh, uh, your movements, so, uh, so just bear that bit in mind. So, uh, uh, what the idea here, what the idea here is, is that we need to take care of uh, the militia forces. That way, we can um, uh, s safely go after uh, the uh, the control station, so we can uh, so we can shut down the um, uh, tower. Uh, lookout point, I guess, is a better way to is a is a better way to describe it. Now there are no uh, med stations here, though I do think, well, uh, there there's no uh, uh, med stations, but I was thankfully able to um, uh, able to get rid of the guy that that would spot me. In detective mode, or at least uh, track me. Now there is a uh, there is an upgrade for uh, for the disruptor to get uh, to uh, to kind of a uh, uh, kind of weaponize that kind of thing, but we're not going to be getting that for a long while. In fact, I don't even think that I uh, I uh, I got it in this in this uh, session. So you know. And and I figured, you know, why not? Why not get rid of a few uh, unwanted things, you know? Well, I, I thought about it, but you know, it didn't wasn't exactly the the, the biggest payoff. But eh, you know, uh, though, if I did have to say something about uh, the disruptor, 
don't go uh, firing it all uh, all willy nilly. Uh, uh, make sure you have uh, a plan for when you use it. Because, like, uh, for me personally, you know, the uh, uh, the med kits and the and the uh, fucking uh, the uh, detective mode scanner. So, you know. And I was thinking about using the gel on him, but but then I figured, eh, eh, probably, eh. Not really worth it, so just a simple takedown. He was the only guy left, after all. Oh, oh, no way, no way. Uh, uh, I know why I needed the gel. Uh, because the gel is the only thing uh, that can break this. Oh, and uh, a fun detail. On the screen, uh, it showed uh, green lines moving around. That that hasn't been seen since Arkham Asylum, so so good on them on on a uh, on reusing an asset. So you know. Okay, so now that the watchtower is taken care of, we need we need a way into Stag's airship. Uh, but we don't quite have the means to get in there yet. Though, thankfully, Lucius has us covered. Uh, all we need to do is get uh, the remote hacking device from the top of Wayne Tower. Which is, which is like, which is like I, I think to the left or something like that. You know, so like, it ain't far. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 literally, literally, it did. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump away. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. So, uh, that story mission now, uh, now introduces us to the concept of watchtowers. Now, uh, watchtowers can vary in, uh, annoyance. And some of them will pop up as the as the story progresses, so you can't immediately go after every single one. Uh, uh, much like the uh, bombs in the road, which is why I'm not even going after them until way later in the story. Well, like, I should say until near uh, endgame, but, you know, uh, same difference, same difference. Now, uh, now uh, the remote hacking device is basically the... The uh, the cryptographic sequencer from the uh, previous games, but it's more uh, collapsible and handheldish. Like, 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 uh, see that? See, like, he can do it like oh, one-handed if he really wanted to. Mm. Sorry, and we are going to be getting some use out of this. Uh, Add this gadget in stealth segments and also for uh, Riddler. Uh, basically, there are some drones. Well, I, actually, no, no, I probably, I, I, I don't even uh, fully remember that, but yeah, oh well. Although the although uh, the hacking device does have a a uh, pretty cool feature, so like. So that when you're like right next to a a drone operator, you can instantly download the codes for the drone and stick it on uh, the militia, which is really really which is really really handy, and is how you're supposed to get past a few uh, checkpoints that uh, that the militia has set up. But eh, you know. And uh, you want to get that particular uh, lock first, so uh, because that will um, open up a way uh, in and out of the of your uh, current situation. <laughs> yeah, see. I see you have found your way in, um. Oh, all oh, right, all right. We also got this little. We also got this little thing here. Uh, Batman's uh, holding his uh, cow piece while he's talking to Alfred. And I honestly don't know why they 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 uh, kept that in. Maybe to uh, progress the story, but it's like, uh, guys, guys, Batman has mainly been seen talking through his gauntlet, or or like maybe through 
Well, I like he. Have full rotational control of the airship stability system. He's been shown to see that the uh, gauntlet is not the only means of communication. I get that, but like, it's like he can move just fine without having to hold the earpiece down. You know. Anyway. So uh, what we just did was that we is that we got in is that we got the um, rotation controls for the uh, airship. Thing is, thing is, it can only work in 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 a certain distance of uh, of uh, of the uh, terminal, right? So we can tilt it as we see fit, and and you also got these uh, boxes that have these um, electrical locks on them. Uh, that's kind of the main uh, uh, thing with the with these uh, areas, which is honestly really fun. And I was debating about doing this trophy, but I'm thinking uh, actually I should probably save that for my. Uh, Riddler cleanup, which, which I, I I know that it it's kind of uh, unfortunate that I'm not gonna make you see that, but I am not a guide. I have to I have to look up guides for this stuff all all of the uh, all of the freaking time. So you know, like uh, anyway. Oh right, uh, uh these brutes. So this uh, this area also shows us that brutes can come in many different flavors, and uh, uh, so we had the uh, regular ones in the tunnel. We have, and now we have these sword guys, which you know are not necessarily the worst thing in the world. Like they're still just brutes at the end of the day. Stun, stun, beat down, good, good to go. And if you can get. And if you can get uh, enough damage, then you'll be even more, and you'll be golden. Okay. Now this room is actually kind of fun because because like this will take like less than five minutes if you know what you're doing, <laughs> which I don't necessarily think I do. So I decided to throw down a smoke pellet right there. And then use the fear takedown so I can get rid of most of the thugs in the room. Or, well, at least try to. Because uh, the fear multi takedown is still at four uh, uh, right now, and you can only get up to five. Which is kind of annoying, but then again, I have a, I have a critical strike on hand. So I can take care of that if I so wanted to. Well, like... Well, uh, I can, uh, use that to, uh, my sort of, uh, advantage, so. And, yeah, like, this room is not that difficult. Like, I don't really know why people would say that it's one of the hardest rooms ever, because it really isn't. And I have no idea where uh, where all those uh, special counters were coming from, but you know, uh, I did lose my combo there, but uh, to, but I did only get hit once throughout this entire room, so <laughs> I am not complaining. And as you saw, they were all going down a lot easier because of critical strike. Though I would not recommend uh, uh, going all ham on this for for uh, uh, uh riddler goons because <laughs> i think it still suffers from uh arkham city's thing about the um about uh thugs not having a whole lot of health but you know okay so now we get another uh mental breakdown scene with, with batman so uh, this is another point in the story which is kind of crucial. So, you know how a Joker is basically a figment of Batman's imagination uh, right now caused by the fear gas? Well, part... Well, well, that part of his psyche, which is what Joker is meant to, uh, meant to represent, 
is starting to take over. And from this point on, he will be gradually... He will gradually uh, uh, begin taking more and more uh, control. Uh, but that uh, really depends on a bunch of different circumstances. So, Yeah, as you saw, all you gotta do is just... Uh, all I gotta do is just uh, uh, punch these jokers once, and then uh, struggle for your life, uh, so you can actually get back on track. Now, I did have a bit of a brain fart moment here. Uh, basically, uh, you're not supposed to go to the second airship uh, right now because they have because there are guns attached to it. Like, like, pfft, sorry, sorry, moment. I can't fucking uh, talk right now. Uh, basically, the uh, the uh, second airship has guns, right? And as soon as you try to go over there, they will shoot you. So, uh, me doing this uh, this uh, cryptographic sequence thing right here, uh, not exactly the smartest idea for me to do. But hey, but hey, 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 like fucking. Um, uh, uh, silver lining here. I show you why. I show you why y you don't do it first. So, you know, Let's go over there. Yeah, you can't. And also, you get this little uh, scene with Alfred here, which I believe you would get if you waited a few more minutes. But I don't really know for certain. Uh, basically, at the other end of the ship that we're currently on is a, uh, a control panel, and we can use that in order to get onto the other ship. But, but we don't exactly have a way to get to there, at least, uh, by conventional means. And I, and I don't know why I decided to do the uh, line launcher there. Probably to show off that you could, uh, uh, in theory, get over there. But you know, you know, that's not how you're supposed to do things. So uh, right in front of me is a a, a terminal, which I completely ignored. Uh, basically, what basically you're supposed to. Uh, you're uh, supposed to hack into that so you can uh, get your uh, ship uh, ship access uh, control back. But you know, I was I was such a dumbass throughout this whole uh, fucking thing. So now you have a bit of a maze that you need to do, which is not hard, honestly. Like you need to make sure that uh, blocks that that certain blocks move and, and, and certain ones don't, right? And you can easily tell where you're supposed to be going based on the blocks themselves not not uh, uh, glowing or whatever, right? Uh, and I kind of screwed myself up there, but eh, it's whatever. You know, you know, like uh, uh, easy fix, easy fix. There you go. Uh, and there are some uh, trophies in there, but uh, uh, again, I'm gonna save that for when I uh, when I uh, actually go and do some cleanup uh, for Riddler, because I mean, I mean, come on, it did it, 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 it's Nigma, okay? <laughs> it, 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 it's fucking Nigma. So. Okay, so with that out of the way, it's time to head on up to the uh, to the uh, second half of the uh, catwalk that was destroyed. So all I gotta do is unlock this door and uh, uh, grapple up. Like, see? And there is a trophy here, but uh, uh, but I just kind of ignored it. Uh, though I did think that, that we could go through the door, but we need to get through a certain... Well, actually, we, we need to get through here in order for us to actually do it, so... Anyway. 
Okay, so we have another at soul segment with uh, the militia. Now, there are a few things to note about uh, about uh, the militia stealth sections now, now that we have uh, the remote hacking device. There are certain objects that will cause... Uh, that will uh, cause uh, a distraction, which will which will kind of let them know of your presence. But but there's also items that can instantly knock them out. Now now the latter is uh, very very handy. But um, but uh, I but I actually didn't do that for this particular segment. So you know. And I also uh, didn't use my uh, gel, but hey, hey it's whatever. Uh, though I did uh, download the drone codes from this uh, operator right here. I can name it the drone or its and turn it and uh, now that we, well, uh, now that we can, uh, uh, now that we can hack the drones, we can either uh, cause it to uh, self-destruct. Or uh, target an enemy and also have it uh, and and also cause it uh, to self destruct. It honestly, honestly, it is a really good uh, 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 thing to have. So you know, though it is though it is uh, kind of recommended that you would uh, get multiple thugs with it, but you know. Uh, a lot of the times you're not really gonna have that, so it it doesn't particularly matter. Now, uh, <laughs> uh, I would actually kind of recommend that you do use the uh, the the uh, hacking device to to, uh, uh, to knock out enemies when you can in fact i kind of hope for that in a few instances but you know it, it never it never really uh, works out a lot of the time so you know is what it is uh but uh yeah um uh but other than that i mean you know it did it, it's a stealth segment you haven't you have You've uh, pretty much seen all of these. <laughs> Though I didn't do the gel, which, you know, I definitely could, but, eh, not well. And as soon as my laptop starts lagging, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, I believe right here is where I decided to do it, I think. Uh, was it? Or, no, no, no. Am I thinking of something else? Oh, oh, here we go, here we go, yeah, 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 here we go. Just a little bit of that. <laughs> and just wait for someone to actually go, just wait for someone to actually get over there. <laughs> uh, it can take a little while, so, you know. And I don't think that guy in the middle ever leaves his location until he's the final one, so, yeah. Oh, and honestly, I thought that, uh, honestly, I thought that would, uh, uh, that would knock him out because, you know, um, remote hacking device and all that. But no, uh, only the uh, yellow objects can knock opponents out. So, uh, well, let me think. Well, actually, there isn't much I can say here, really, because I'm just kind of meandering, kind of waiting for this like one thing to happen. But, meh. You know, it is what it is. You know, like these things happen when you're playing the game. So, yeah. And I thought that that dude was gonna. Well, uh, I. Oh wait, oh wait. Uh, I think someone was um was uh was uh going up. Cause I think they were. I. Uh, well, it 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 doesn't particularly matter because the game does have a um a a, a counter for when the uh, 
uh, for when the guys are near the gel. So, you know. I, I was debating on doing that, but, uh, but then I figured, uh, eh, eh, not really worth it, not really worth it. He wasn't even going to go in there anyway. Oh, uh, 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 here we go. I think someone's, uh, I think someone's uh, going to go up to the gel. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah, there, 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 there he goes, there he goes. And I still got my fear takedown, which is neat. Uh, the hostel is there, so boom, instant knockout. You love to see it, baby. Let's go. And and I'm just gonna make sure that they are. Uh, uh, taken care of, and actually, and actually, uh, actually, kind of pick up the pace a little bit here. So, but we're not really done just yet. So, as soon as we get this dude and instantly knock him out, we need to head on over uh, to uh, the control panel, so that way we can uh, figure out just what the hell is actually going on here. So. You know, and much like, and it's pretty much the same thing as when the knight cannot Barbara. So, so uh, basically, we cannot access anything without uh, Simon Stagg's handprints. So, we need to figure out exactly where he pressed his hands, so that way we can uh, get a full uh, uh, DNA match. So. Uh, all I gotta do is look through uh, the different camera angles and find where Stag was pressing his hand against the floor, a wall, you, you know, you know, uh, you know, just about anything, right? And you need to do this four times, so you know where, so, so that way you know where each print is. And. Uh, And you'll need to scan uh, those particular locations. So, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh God, I feel like I have to sneeze. Stag left a hand oh, God, God damn it! I hate it when that happens. You know, you know, you, you get those like uh, sneezes that you think you gotta do, but it, it, they just don't. And it fucking tickles your nose. God, I hate that shit. Anyway, so uh, as we scan Stag's uh, prints, I think I'm gonna uh, call it here because this is pretty much all. This is pretty much. Uh, this is pretty much it for the uh, for the uh, whole video. So, oh god, I need a break. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I have no idea what the next milestone that we'll be celebrating is, so if you want to see that, uh... I should be able to access that well, computer system now. you know what to do. I really need to stop saying that. <laughs> uh, until next time, Sushi Goons, remember, reach for the stars. That's the weapons dealt with. Scarecrow's next. <laughs>